Canadian psychologist Jordan Peterson has become a household name in the modern world, and while for many he remains a contentious and controversial figure, for others, including myself, what he says usually contains a lot of meaning and value. So in today's video I intend to delve deeper into one of Dr Peterson's most famous quotes to clean your room, which has become a meme across the net yet contains a profound and valuable insight into how we navigate ourselves through our lives and the world we live in. The comment first came to prominence on the Joe Rogan experience, where Jordan Peterson was giving an interview and said the following. Don't be fixing up the economy, 18 year olds, you don't know anything about the economy. It's a massive complex machine beyond anyone's understanding and you mess with it at your own peril. So can you even clean up your own room? No? Well think about that. You should think about that because if you can't even clean up your own room, who the hell are you to give advice to the world? So let's explore the meaning behind these words which might at first appear to be nothing more than a rant from a college professor, but actually have a great point within them. Confucius To think Jordan Peterson's the first person to echo the sentiment to clean your room would be wrong, as rather the sentiment has been put forward by many throughout history. For example, Chinese philosopher Confucius has been quoted as saying, to put the world in order, we must first put the nation in order. To put the nation in order, we must first put the family in order. To put the family in order, we must first cultivate our personal life. We must first set our hearts right. This in effect is summarising the point Jordan Peterson makes when telling you to clean your room, to orientate yourself correctly in the world and have significant influence and impact that's positive, you must first ensure that you've learnt to orientate yourself and your local surroundings correctly in a way that's positive. Starting local So why is it that you need to have your home in order before you go out and seek to change the world? Well, Peterson views it almost as a litmus test because if you are unable to organise the local environment you have control over, it's going to be significantly more challenging to change systems that have been in place in greater society for millennia that are far more complex and daunting. Never mind the fact that you'll likely create more of a mess than actually fix anything. It's also more challenging than it might first appear to clean your room. First there's a process that's necessary to go through to identify what you need to clean and where items need to go, and a clean room isn't one that's superficially clean that as soon as a cupboard or drawer is opened, chaos reigns supreme, because you still haven't truly got order. Then if you have a partner or others you live with, additional variables are introduced that are more complicated to traverse in order to ensure everyone is satisfied. Fundamentally, this is why we start locally, because we encounter similar problems to what we would when negotiating with the wider world. This is also why he brings in the 18 year olds, as he comments on those at university or colleges who try to change the world with mass demonstrations and beliefs. The problem is, most 18 year olds haven't fully matured or have mastered control in their lives and usually with the newfound autonomy and freedom as young adults, they often don't take on so called needless responsibilities such as cleaning their room, which would have been previously enforced on them by a parent or guardian. Yet it's in doing this that these young people can develop foundational skills. So by learning to start small, even if in just the confines of their rooms, Young adults develop the base skills to organise their world in a way which works for them. The act itself might seem trite, almost insignificant at face value, but it's a useful exercise nonetheless and shouldn't be underestimated. You see, through the act of overcoming the obstacles of cleaning your room, you not only change your environment to meet your needs, but you often have to do so in a way that also cares for the needs of others as already mentioned, such as if you live with a partner or family. And the skills and objective thought process needed to clean your room actually share similarities to them working bigger in scope. This includes identifying the problems at hand, working out solutions and also factoring other variables such as people involved in the situation. However, 
Beyond just practical reasoning, this process also delves into the philosophy of how we view the world around us. Our environment is an extension of ourselves. Peterson is hugely influenced by Jungian psychology and also influenced by Buddhist beliefs. In both, they state that at the highest level of psychological integration, there is no difference between you and what you experience. In essence, what this means is how you experience life is as much you as the individual you identify as. And from this stems the next point, the environment you create for yourself and what you experience in life are an extension of yourself. Therefore, if you consider your local environment where you usually have the most control, you can either choose to experience a messy and chaotic environment, or you can choose to experience an organised and well maintained environment. Most of us will agree the latter is better for us, as if not for anything else, for our physical and mental health. However, you can delve deeper too, as having an organised room works to make for a more efficient and effective environment for us to orientate in. For those who are smart, they'll set up their environment in the most efficient way possible for them to live in a way they want to meaning the items that they need regularly are easily reached, while those less commonly used occupy spaces less frequented. And we often do this when in other environments or circumstances, we focus on those agendas which are most pressing and in need of attention, usually working to the collective need rather than just the individual, especially when in a position of leadership. So clean your room. When all is said and done, there are many reasons to clean your room, but from the perspective Jordan Peterson comes from, it's not so much just a practical exercise to tidy up, but rather learning to set up your environment to the betterment of your life. And when we go back to what Confucius says, we expand this naturally to those we care for, from our family, local community, and eventually wider communities, all of which stems from our ability to manage ourselves first and foremost, and then grow in scope to benefit others. So it all goes back to the single fundamental question that you should ask yourself when embarking on a mission to change the world, which is, have you cleaned your room? Are you a fan of Jordan Peterson? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads. Thanks for watching.